Okay, so I'd really appreciate some help with my silver stripe bowling cabinet. Um, picked this up on Facebook Marketplace. It was filthy. Um, I've gave it a really good clean everywhere. Inside to get all apart. Buttons weren't working, fix them. Anyway, I've got a um, question. Right, so it's not working. And I've tested it on another computer and another monitor. And it looks like both the monitor and the computer are not working. However, both seem to work to an extent. So before I rip it all out and put another computer monitor in, I just, I'd rather use the original. So I'll show you what I can find when I turn it on. So I'll turn it on. They're all on there, the plugs. Here, let me just have it pulled out here. So I'll turn this on. Turn the computer on. Okay, so the computer starts up. No beeps at all, but the fans are spinning, both of them, and the CPU fan spins when I take the top off, I've been in there already. Um, I like to come on on here. And I like to come on on that top one too, a little green flashing light, you can probably just about see it. Now the top one appears to be um, a security PCB. Um, I think that's to prove it's um, genuine. And then below it is a, um, a different PCB, not sure what that does. That probably d d sorts out all the controls and that gives a lot of wires if you look at this end of it. But it lights up and it appears to work. The computer, um, I did change the um, the battery in it, in, in the motherboard. Um, but yeah, it just doesn't seem to come on. Um, I don't know if it's because of the monitor I'm using. I used, um, I checked it with this old computer and the monitor definitely works when it's plugged into that one. It doesn't work when it's plugged into it. Now I plugged it into this graphics card here, the bottom, because that's where it came when I when I got it. But I'm wondering if the graphics card could be um, kaput, whether the hard drive's rusted up. Now this, this machine was, um, I, I got this from Cleethorpes and it's been outside in someone's brick shed, basically br brick outbuilding. And they've, um, they've had it there for a year since I bought the house and they just wanted it gone. The person who they moved out of the house didn't come back to collect it. And they just wanted it out of the way, obviously the big heavy things. Um, and they were just happy for me to come and get it out of their life really. Um, so when I've tested this computer with another monitor, this is the end, I've just been plugging that into where that was. I did try it in here as well, and I even tried it in here because there's um, a port there too. But none of the, I didn't expect that one to work, but neither of these two would work um, when I plugged it into this monitor. Um, and when I plugged this computer into this monitor here, that's where you sort of plug it in. Um, this didn't work either. Right. Um, so while we're looking, this is the monitor motherboard, um, circuit boards. Uh, and uh, there's some rust, probably because it's been by the coast and outside for a bit, well, in an outside building. Um, but yeah, if you can see anything obvious as to why why the computer doesn't seem to be displaying on this monitor or why that computer doesn't seem to be displaying on this monitor and they're definitely not working together I'd appreciate to know why but what is working on it is, if I come back round to the front so the marquee is nice I've cleaned all that up and both bulbs, top and bottom, are both working um, this was all stiff, but I managed to fix that. I just take it back, cleaning it, and a little bit of WD-40. The buttons, I was able to clean them, and I polished polish them in a um, B soil furniture polish to make them glide a bit better. So the buttons all work now, at least. Here, there's a coin door. The light doesn't seem to be working. I'm not sure, maybe the bulb's gone. Uh, yeah, I'll have to check that out. It'd be nice if that did work. Or maybe it's a bit more serious. Now in here, we have all these options in buttons. 
and it also tells you how many um, probably how much money it's had or how many games it's been played on it yeah, so that's that bit in here there's a coin box I checked it for money there were none Guess that's the security bar down here to here to stop people breaking in them. Uh, yeah, so it's a really nice cabinet, really happy with it. And if none of this can work, I'll take out the computer, take out all these circuit boards here, take out that monitor. And um, there's the bit here, what unscrews and it flats. I can put a flat screen monitor in there if I can find one. 26 inches and um, in 4 3, which I probably won't find, but never know. Um, yeah, this is it. And if anyone can help me, I'd appreciate it. I mean, if, if I do end up um, stripping it, I will obviously keep these parts. And um, give them to someone who needs it. Uh, this, this fan sounds a bit healthier now. Maybe it's. Um, oh no, one of them stopped spinning. Oh, let's turn that off then. That's the power supply fan that's spinning fine. This one just is just for the computer chassis. You need a bit of humming from the TV. I don't know if that means so. Right, let's see if I can turn this back on again. Oh, I'll turn the whole lot off now. So if I turn that on, the computer, turn it on here. Yeah, there only seems to be one fan working now. Better turn it off, I don't want that to overheat. I'll um, take this top off again and have a look, see if I can find out why that fan isn't working. Okay, have an out, bye.